Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today we're going to look into the hottest coin to mine at the moment, and that is Zcoin. I'm going to briefly look into some wallets, miners, pools, the price, and what you can expect to make in roughly a 24-hour period. A little bit about me, I've been in the cryptocurrency space nearly two years. Do a lot of speculative coin mining, comparison, various GPUs and miners. And I do something called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. And today is that day, so stay tuned. I'll be giving away Bitcoin to somebody at the end of this video. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so Zcoin, I did a video on this back in January, about nine months ago now, a review video on it. If you guys want to check that out, that should be popping up here shortly, and it'll also be at the end of this video. This video is more of an update on Zcoin and basically just the profitability, newer miners, and things of that nature. So if you don't know what Zcoin is, real quick, it's basically just a privacy coin, private financial transactions enabled by the Zigma protocol. So let's head over to coin market cap right now. Let me see if I can refresh this. So sitting at about 542 right now. Uh, I like the total supply, 21,400,000, very low supply. That's always good. Circulating supply, 8.3 million. It's got a really good amount of volume. It's in the top 186 as of right now. Let me scroll down and look at the markets. So it's got plenty of markets to choose from as far as if you want to just mine and sell. Real quick, speaking of selling, are any of you guys currently mining Zcoin out there? Let me know down below with a simple yes or no. If you are mining, are you holding or are you selling? And if you're selling, what exchanges are you using? I would be interested to know that. Because I'm thinking of mining and selling myself, but since Binance is closing its doors to U.S. customers, which actually happened yesterday, um, I'm kind of looking for a new exchange. I'm on KuCoin right now, but I don't see it on here in their little list. So looking for an alternative. Let me know what exchange you use if you actually do mine and sell Zcoin. I would appreciate that. Okay, so let's head over to what to mine right now. I'm going to pull up the hash rate and the power uses I'm getting on my NVIDIA rig. My NVIDIA rig is a 1066 gig, 1070 Ti, and 21660 Ti's. Right now I get about 7.6 to 7.7 .7 mega hash at about 400 watts, so I'll just hit calculate with that. And if we scroll down, Zcoin right here, $1.86 gross. 90 cents take home as you can see it's at the top with Ryo right on its heels I really like the actual Profit you're taking home after power on at least especially on these two coins MTV of course at the top 90 cents as compared to probably the next closest one which might be beam You're looking at at least 34 cents take home per day on my rig just in my case so so that's a nice bump in profit per day over these other coins that you can mine all right so let's pull up my nvidia rig right now i tried out crypto dredge you can use crypto dredge t-rex or there's a new cc miner out i'll get to the cc miner bit in a sec crypto dredge i was getting about 7.3 mega hash on this rig right here so I fired up T-Rex, and I'm getting about 7.6 to 7.7, .7, like I said. So I'm keeping T-Rex right now. The reason I'm not using the newer version of CC Miner, which, as usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below in the description, so don't worry about trying to find any of this stuff. I'll make it as easy as I can for you guys. All right, so anyways, T-Rex, that's what I'm using now. CC Miner, for whatever reason, it would just crash on me. It would run for maybe 20, 30 seconds and crash. 20, 30 seconds and crash. I tried to loop on it. The little loop commands go to loop, and still it would just would not would not function. So if anyone knows how to get CC Miner going so it's stable, uh, let me know down below in the comments. But as for me right now, T-Rex, 
barred it up no problem crypto dredge which actually uses cc miner within its you know mining program it's got a bunch of different coins you can mine with crypto dredge but it actually uses the cc miner in that i don't know what version it is but that was stable as well i don't know what t-rex uses i don't know if it uses its own software to mine that or it's actually got a version of cc miner in that as well i'm not quite sure on that but anyways i'm using t-rex right now it's running fine as you can see 319 shares submitted and none rejected so let's head over to the pool which i'm using mint pond right now trying to spread the hash rate around if you go over to mining pool stats as you can see two miners is pretty much the big dog right now, holding almost 79 percent of the hash rate so i'm over here on mint pond and it's only got about maybe five percent that's a lot of hash rate to be in one location for a coin so anyways mint pond this is a pretty pretty good looking pool as you can see this has not been dropping at all i know it only shows maybe the last 30 45 minutes but you can click on sma and it just stays there as well which shows you the average but solid pool so far mine it was started mining it last night like i said with crypto dredge and then into today i'm roughly about 2.2 z coins so far so not bad for the amount of time which is maybe 15 16 hours i've been mining this coin so it looks like it should be pretty close to what to what what to mine says easily so let's go over let me show you guys the bat files real quick these will also be down below for t-rex and the only thing you're going to have to edit on these bat files is of course the wallet address which is right here you can leave the rig identifier on just make sure you name it whatever you want or you can leave it blank taking completely off it's up to you and if you want to change pools, just make sure you change that right there. Again, the other list of pools is right there. So all you got to do is open a notepad file. I can tell you in most of these videos, paste this information in. And then you're going to click Save As. And for the purposes of this video, I'll call it Run1.bat. Make sure it's a .bat, otherwise it will not work. Then you just click Save. And if we go over to the folder... There's that file we just created. You just double click on it and a miner will pull up and start going. For AMD, there is the SG miner bat file down below. I, from what I understand, and I think if I remember right, I tried this before as well. On 580s, uh, it mines this MTP really good. So if you've got a 580 out there, go ahead and try that bat file below for SG miner. Again, just change your wallet address and, and or pool if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the actual difficulty on Zcoin. Here we are on Cryptoid.com. And as you can see, this is the last 10,000 blocks. Let's go last 100,000 blocks. So there we go. Up, kind of went down, back up. And it actually looks like it's going back down again as far as the difficulty on Zcoin. It's probably why it's one of the top coins to mine right now. So it'd probably be a good idea to jump on it real quick and fill your bags up. Speaking of filling your bags up, the wallet, if you want to use their actual in-house wallet, you've got this download Zcoin official wallet. There's the Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can download that. A link will be down below if you are interested in using their actual wallet. As for me, I'm using a multi-coin wallet here, Zellcore. Got a bunch of different coins you can use in there, well over 100. And as you can see right here, Zcoin is one of them, and that's the wallet I use. So either way, that's the wallet you'll need. And you should be good to go for mining if you do choose on mining Zcoin. Okay, so that's the quick update on Zcoin. Any questions or comments on that, put that down below. I'll get back to you like I always do. I enjoy interacting with you guys, and I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. So here we are on the website. Bitcoin Fridays, 9, 13, 19, Friday the 13th. 72 contestants, 1,455 entries. So let's go over to Manage Giveaway. All right, so... I do this every week. If you don't win, don't worry about it. Just make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell. So next week when this Enter to Win video comes out, you'll have a chance to try and win. 
All right, so I'm going to click draw, and we'll pick a winner. Good luck, everybody. All right, so we have crew. All right, crew, congratulations on winning this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Let me go ahead and confirm. All right, crew, I'm going to go ahead and notify crew here. So crew has been notified. Again, congratulations. You should be receiving an email. Just respond to that email with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send you the winnings right over. I appreciate all of you guys for playing this week's Bitcoin Fridays. This new format I've gone to looks like it's pretty successful, and I'm going to continue using it. By the way, if you guys missed my Kudo Miner update, be sure to check that out. That video should be popping up here in a second. As usual, any questions or comments, put them down below. I will definitely get back to you. Please share this video if you think somebody else would be interested in this information. I would appreciate it. And with that, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.